What's going on, Alabama fans? This is Brandon, a.k.a. Fresh with Touchdown Alabama. It's been a minute. I apologize for the delay, but wait. No more. No further. I am back. I will be back on a more routine basis. Got some exciting news about the drop very soon. New podcast with your boy is coming. All right, so just stay tuned. But the first thing you need to do, y'all already know how I get down. I know it's been a long time. Hit that like button. Smash that like button. I need 100 out the gate. All right, especially for this one. Give me 100 likes out the gate. I ain't saying nothing until that like button is smashed. I'm just playing. But seriously, 100 likes out the gate, and we're about to get this thing started. As you already see what the title is. I am. I got. I got to jump on this. Uh, the new regime. All right. So out with the old, back with the old, but a new, a new beginning. All right. So Pete Golden. I hadn't had a chance to really get my thoughts on this whole situation with uh, Pete Golding and the uh, long awaited, much needed exodus from Alabama as the defensive coordinator. Uh, That was something that if you know any Alabama fan, you just, you know, talk to anybody, probably your neighbor that's an Alabama fan. That was just one of the things that was a a big, you know, elephant in the room, no pun intended, so to speak, with Alabama's, you know, culture, you know, and I've spoken with, you know, many you know, former Alabama players, people that played under Nick Saban that, you know, felt that there was just a, a difference with him at the helm. And it's not really to throw a lot of shade on Pete Golden, Golden, because he was asked to do a job. He, you know, you apply like anybody else. It's, you know, Nick Saban, all of this falls on, on his shoulder. So you don't want to throw a lot of blame on, on Pete Golden. It's not all of his fault. Nick Saban had you know, every opportunity multiple times, you know, to to go in a different direction. Um, I think, you know, you know, where things in my perspective, uh, where things kind of fell a little bit flat was when, you know, um, you have someone who's that intelligent, someone who's that uh, dynamic in terms of, you know, how they, they can probably spit things back to you. And uh, and, and that's something I'm sure, pretty sure that that impressed Nick Saban. Um, however, um, you also have to have people that are going to run through a wall for you uh, and they can feel you in a sense. And one of the things that I always felt with with Pete Golden, for example, was that, you know, he, you know, he, he was like a Toyota, you know, like an Altima, a Nissan Altima or, you know, something like that. You know, that's that's the type of of, of school that he needed to kind of be associated with. Alabama is a Ferrari. It's a Lamborghini. You know what I'm saying? You can't have somebody that's used to driving an Altima uh, and all of a sudden throw them into, you know, a Ferrari, you know, what I'm saying a Bentley. You know what I'm saying? That's what you know you need it for someone that can handle that type of uh, that type of engine. And Pete Golden, he just was not that guy. I mean, every pretty much the majority of the time, if you go from a Nick Saban defensive coordinator, assistant head coach type type role, you know, and you've been there for three plus years, sometimes even less than that, there's a head coaching job waiting for you. There was nobody that picked up the phone for Pete Golden. Nobody, nobody picked up the phone to call Pete Golden. Um, and, and again, I, I don't feel like I want to knock the guy, but that should have been a, a telltale sign for Nick Saban. And you have a thousand fans or thousands, a hundred thousands, millions of fans screaming to the top of their lungs. Why is this guy on the sidelines calling plays? Why is he the, in charge of, of, of the Alabama defense? Um, so you go out with the old and you bring the old back in. But somebody who knows the culture, Kevin Steele, he knows the culture of Alabama. He knows what Nick Saban wants. He knows that there there was a dog missing and missing big time. Um, So I'm curious to see exactly how that's going to unfold. I think that that was a missing link because with Nick Saban, you know, it's a lot of nuance. You already know what you're getting with when it comes to him. But you have to have somebody at the helm that people are going to run through. And if you watch the spring game, now that's not, you know, indicative of what you'll see in the fall entirely. But you saw and I remember Malachi Moore posted something, uh, us to touch on Alabama. We posted a photo of him and then he said all 11 to the ball. Now, I never heard any Alabama defensive player uh, even speak of that publicly with Pete Golden. All 11 to the ball. That means that lets me know that, you know, it's not just going to be, oh, well, all right, y'all in the air. So you go ahead and take down this man and uh, hopefully you'll make the tackle. He said, no, no, we making sure that this guy is going to be on the ground Um and you know he's not getting back up so um that's all i got for y'all this is just the first one i'm coming back with some more heat guys uh make sure y'all share this subscribe to the youtube page guys make sure y'all run these likes up big time for your boy i will be back 
very soon. Hit us up on uh, TD Alabama Mag on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, all of the social medias. And it's your boy Fresh. I'm signing off.